MTD CNC have the pleasure to be at Renishaw in Miskin at this state-of-the-art facility to discuss process control of a CNC machine. Now, Paul, how important is this and what processes do you have in place? Okay, thanks, Gio. So, process control is very important to us in terms of providing consistency in our CNC machining operations, particularly when you're considering things like automation. So, doing the same thing day in, day out, regardless of the skills that are in the factory, what machine you're using, is key to our success. And the approach we take at Renishaw is a proactive, preventative approach to process control, where we ensure things are correct before we start machining. And the way we portray this is in a pyramid with four different layers. And the first layer of our pyramid starts, it's the foundation, it's how you set up your factory. And this is where it starts for Renishaw. This is where we set up and load our pallet systems with raw material and tooling before we start machining. And here it's all about ensuring the tools are the right quality, you manage the tool life, the tool cutter, the tool build, the fixtures, the torque for the billets that go in the fixtures, and all those things that could cause any variation in our CNC process. So you obviously practice what you preach and you've been practicing what you preach for many years. So this is where it all starts, but where does it end? Okay, so this is just the start of our, our pyramid process control. The next stage is at the CNC machine. So we've looked at the kitting station and now we're at the machine. What happens next? Okay, before we start making parts, we want to validate that the machine is performing as we would expect. So this is where we use our Renishaw calibration equipment, our ball bar system for diagnosing servo performance, which is carried out on a 60-day frequency. And here we ascertain the dynamic contouring accuracy of the machine and can pick up whether it's any backlash, any servo errors that would affect the accuracy or surface finish on the parts that we make. As long as that's within tolerance, we can then carry on with the next stage. And what is that next stage? So this is where we start to set the CNC process without anybody involved. So it's the use of on-machine tool setting systems and our probing systems. The tool setting systems measure the tools in the spindle that we'll be using to cut the parts, picking up all the, the drawbar forces to pull up in the taper, and you run out on the tool to set very accurate tool offsets. We then verify that the tool has been built correctly we ensure here that the tool is in with our standard characteristics for that tool that guarantees the output and is rigid and it won't cause any collisions in the machine. Then we can bring out the spindle probe, we check critical alignments on the machine of the indexing trunnion. On multi-axis machines this could be a more uh, thorough kinematic check to make sure that the machine when it starts moving is moving where we expect it to. Then finally we find the part in the machine, we set the work offsets and we establish the raw material condition where the part's been loaded to the fixture correctly. Now, you, we, we're mentioning quality um, of the part. This ensures a, a quality part, a consistent part, every time. But you've also mentioned automating the setups. This obviously must save a tremendous amount of downtime. Yeah, so the use of rental technology to set up a, a CNC machining process minimizes the amount of skill that's required and also it's very consistent and it saves time. So it allows you to very quickly establish the, the performance of the, of the machine, make sure everything's aligned and in the correct position before you press the start button and start adding value to your raw material. So now we've established the first few stages of the process. Um, in process control, talk us through how we start making the parts and what this entails the Renishaw way. Okay, so most people recognize the use of a Renishaw probing system for finding the part in the machine. Once you start cutting material, you can also use the probe to establish what the tool is doing. Now this can either be test cuts on sacrificial material to characterise tool performance and make, finally adjust the tool offsets to ensure high accuracy. Machining the first part and validating the, the performance, again updating tool offsets to validate the quality. Then when you start making more parts, you can start using the probe to track and monitor for changes in the process. This could be due to tool wear, thermal growth in the machine or changes which are happening on a day-to-day -day basis. The use of a probe in the machine or a near machine gauging system allows you to keep on top of these changes that happen in a normal CNC machining process. So you're keeping all of the parts effectively in mid-tolerance at all times, any time of the day? So a lot of people think about automation as we've got here, we've got systems for loading and loading 
raw material, parts in and out of the machine. A lot of people forget about the quality side of things. So the use of rental technology in conjunction with automation allows you to make sure the parts are always on nominal and you achieve high levels of process capability. So this really is intelligent manufacturing at its best. Now tell me about the post-process control. So this is where a lot of people probably recognise Renishaw. It's the, the supply of hardware and software for sensors that are used on coordinate measuring machines. So some industries, aerospace, medical, you have to certify the parts. You'd have to do this in a quality room. But the use of technology allows you to do this very quickly. You have multi-sensor capability and fast measuring systems to minimise the amount of time to certify the parts, minimise the amount of equipment you need in that quality lab and to ensure there's the quickest throughput that you can possibly achieve. We've discussed a lot of the physical aspects of a successful machining process, but what happens when you accumulate the data from the process and what do you do with that data? Okay, so we talked through our different layers of the pyramid, different measurements that are taken at different times before, during and after machining. We can collect all that data using our latest uh, system which is called Venetial Central. This can acquire the, the process, metrology, quality data from initial machine tool probes, tool setting systems, additive manufacturing machines, equator gauging systems and CMM systems. Getting all this data about the part as it's evolved, it's gone to the factory, is critical to give you the insights to understand what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis in your factory to allow you to improve, optimise and increase the productivity of your operations on an ongoing basis. You've created an extremely successful process um, at Renishaw um, over many years which you've evolved. How do you work with your partners um, to pass this knowledge and expertise on to them? So a key point about Renishaw is, is, as you said, we practice what we preach in our own factory. Many, many years of process control experience. A lot of our learning in our factories here in the UK, we've now embedded into our products, into our software, into our apps that we supply to customers. And probably more importantly, we're not just a supplier of hardware and software solutions. We always see ourselves as technical partners. We're on that journey with our customers. Their success is our success. It's, there's never been a more important time to automate a process, in my opinion, if we want to remain um, competitive globally. If people have watched this video and want to, to learn more, how should they get in touch? Well, we've got direct links about CNC process automation on our website. We also have a lot of experience in our applications teams, not just in the UK, but globally. Uh, so get in touch with your local office or your local sales representative. I'm sure we can offer our advice and experience to help our customers. Paul, thank you very much for your time.